a huge issue that has really come into uh, society now and is just inexorably out of control at this point is the viewing of people as just one dimension seeing somebody uh, and just taking one of their views or a, a small part of them and using that to define everything that they believe uh, it's used in cancel culture it's used in uh, stereotyping and that's what it is in itself it is stereotyping it's looking at a small piece of a whole person and simply defining them as that and that's just simply uh, it's quite rude it's quite just on a basic level it's quite rude to do it's quite arrogant of anybody to assume that they can understand what anyone else in the world is feeling we're all unique individuals on different thought processes different egos different backgrounds whatever it is it doesn't matter who you are we're all drastically different and when you look at and people who have spent their entire lives together almost say they've been married for 50 60 years they still those people who've spent their whole lives connecting with an, a, a solitary other human being still don't even know the whole aspect of that other person but now it just seems that oh i can look out my window and see somebody and they look rather ugly or they, they look like they're not very well off and i feel that i entirely know that person and can relate to them on every level and it's just simply untrue and people acknowledge this but in reality they still have these uh presuppositions about people that oh okay you you uh, just a, a basic example oh you wear a backwards hat you wear your hat backwards so obviously you must be a teenager or you're not responsible or whatever it may be whatever it may be from that but that's a very common thing that happens and you see somebody and maybe you wear a backwards hat and it's like yeah well just because i do that doesn't mean that i i'm a terrible student i'll, I'll give a real life example here like me myself i like wearing i like wearing a hat backwards i find it comfortable i find it functional especially at the gym working out wherever it is i think it's stylish and to a degree and i think that it's nice sometimes and i'm the valedictorian of my school like just because you may see me somewhere with a backwards hat you may automatically assume that oh yeah this kid must be just uh irresponsible he must be lazy whatever it is like he's unprofessional and just because you have these presuppositions about the perception of somebody else and really it's a gross misconception to to have the audacity to feel that you know another human being uh, or you can understand another human being is is really mind-boggling like really think about think about somebody else like how often do you go into a room full of new people and you are either stereotyping or being stereotyped by those people especially it's a it's a very uh easy thing to do it's very comfortable to say oh yeah this person is that that person is this to to simply just think that and stay within the bubble of your comfort zone within your mind your internal understanding it feels like oh i've been alive for 17 years i've been alive for however many years you have been and it's like okay I feel comfortable with the understanding I have, but in reality, I have no idea. Everything that has been created in the world, it's, nothing has been created by some external force, by something that is out of our control. Everything in the world has been created by other humans just like you it's not like some humans were born like you you take look take a look at some billionaires or somebody who's really excelling in their field it's not like they're any different from you in this sense that we're human of course they're different because they've had different background and different biology whatever it may be 
but on a fundamental level, we are all human, and it's not like anybody has any superpowers that you don't. When you look at that, it's like, okay, so we're all equal. And when we're all equal, it's like, yeah, so you, your mind is the determining factor of what you're doing, what you're thinking. And it's really audacious of people to think that they can understand another individual, to, to stereotype, to just think that they are right about what somebody else would want. Like, really, no, just absolutely wrong. Like, when you think about uh, when you buy a gift for somebody and they're really joyful about it, that's genuinely something they want. There's genuine uh, jubilation in them. They're exuberantly happy about it because you were able to guess a small part of them what they want. It's not nothing that that is very satisfying to the gift giver and the receiver. It's not nothing that that is such a powerful feeling because it really shows that you're putting in the effort to, to understand that person, to figure out how they act, how they think, to, but it's a small part of them. Just because you can do that, it does not mean that you understand the motivations behind that person. And that's putting it in a pretty positive context, but hey, you look at it around the world, this is a pretty, uh, it's often seen in a pretty negative light. It's often really seen in a negative light about, oh, okay. So I, I feel that I know this culture, like, it, and we know this, we know this as human beings, that it's fair, it's wrong to stereotype, but it happens all the time. And it's not just about, oh, you're, you're this race or you're that gender, whatever it may be. It's not just about that. It's on a very deep level. It seems like, oh yeah, it's fine to stereotype. Uh, it's, it's not all right to stereotype, say, uh, race. But it's all right to stereotype, oh, you're a jock, you're a nerd, like in school. Like, it's all right to identify with those with those groups and say, oh yeah, I'm just we we even put those ident identities on ourselves. We say that, oh yeah, I'm I'm just an athletic kid, I'm not part of this. And it's it's like, why? Why would you put that that uh interpretation on yourself it's it's a gross misconception about who you are as an individual there's no label that can truly define who you are except for your name that's who you are that's the level that you need to understand yourself at it's not oh i am i am an athlete no you're, you're not an athlete an athlete is a small part of who you are you may be athletic but you're not an athlete you're an athlete, you're a thinker, you're uh, somebody, you're an intellectual. Like, you're all, you're part of many, 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 many groups, some of which you might not even know. They're so personal. And really, what it shows is that there's such a massive gap between human beings and the, the, conce the, con con the conception of what we think we are. We are all individual, and it's very important that we understand that. But moreover, we need to understand that everybody else is individual. When we, we struggle to understand ourselves because there's so much in there. Like people spend their entire lives work trying to find out who they are. And, you, and we have the audacity to think that, oh, yeah, I could figure out somebody else's life when you can't even figure out your own.